What are we even doing here? Trader Joe's Can Fish Roundup Part 2. Part 1, we tried some sardines and some smoked trout. They were pretty good. We'll call it a mixed success. And if you missed Part 1, I highly suggest you go back and get caught up. The rest of you, hold on, because here we go. Trader Joe's Wild Caught Skinless and Boneless Sardines in Olive Oil. Now, uh, skinless and boneless sardines, I always start out saying they don't impress me much. I think they have their, their purpose. Some people like them, you know. Uh, they greatly diminish the ick factor because they don't have skin and bones and weird stuff. But um, gee whiz, every skinless and boneless can I've ever had kind of seemed the same as every other can. But let's see what we got. They're all laying pretty flat in here. Mm, they just are how they are. A couple of different sizes. We got a little one. Got a big one. I guess these are pilchards. Yeah. What do we got? Olive oil? It's not so great. Look at this fish. It's just here. You know, nothing fun to look at. Gosh, if we broke it open, is there anything to see? I don't, I don't know. How do they get the bones out of them if... Like, I don't know. I mean, there's some bone. Impressive. Um, so just tasting it. Oh, see, there's some spine. Um, gosh darn it, if they don't just taste like all the skinless and boneless sardines I've ever had in my life. They're a little bland, they're a little mushed out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, would I say that I like the, what did I have, the King Oscars? I think it was the King Oscars. I think I like the King Oscars a little bit better. I think I sort of like those despite myself. Yeah, I don't know what you do with these. Do you, you put them on a salad? Hey, we kind of flaked apart a little bit. That's kind of neat. We like to see that. Uh -uh. Yeah, I, I guess you make a sandwich out of these. People are always sharing me these great recipes where they smash up sardines and kind of make a, a salad out of them or spread them on toast. And sounds like a great idea. One day I'll try it. Gosh, I don't know. You know, I just, there's nothing there's nothing about them. They're fine. Honk, honk. It's about 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon. The neighborhood's really starting to come alive here, you know? Getting summertime, people going crazy. Whatever. I'd rather talk about my stupid neighbors than talk about this fish. Next! Trader Joe's Mediterranean Dorade. Gilted. Gilted? Bream fillets in olive oil. Now, not for nothing, I don't think I've ever had Dorade, Dorade in a can before, or maybe maybe not even ever. I mean, I know what a bream is. We used to catch those when I was a kid, but not Mediterranean ones. So, okay, Trader Joe's got something a little different for me. Oh boy. Now, I gotta say, this is the biggest single piece of fish I've ever seen in a can. This is huge. This is, uh, you know, we don't get to say monolithic much when talking about canned fish, but this piece is monolithic. It just flaked apart. It looks like there's a lot of fat. There's freaking real bones in here, y'all, right? Like, yeah, these are real bones that, like... Another fish conquered. Yeah, you, you could chew through them, but, like, do, do you want to? Whoa. Kind of um, kind of a fishy sort of fish. Ran into some bones there, kind of chomped through them. We got this weird sort of, I guess this is some skin. 
I'm gonna pick off some bones here. This is where the chopsticks really shine. They're usually not absolutely necessary, but you start trying to eat little pieces of uh, meat off of the bones of the fish, and chopsticks are your friend. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is like, I don't know, it's sort of, I mean, it's still a uh, kind of, I'm at a loss here because this is really so different. And I have, I'm used to talking about sardines and herring and mackerel and stuff. And I kind of have a vocabulary for it, but this is, I mean, it's not like a white fish, even though it's kind of a, on the scale and has sort of the flakiness of it. But if I, if I brought out like some uh, tin cod, you know, it would be, it would be so much different from this. And we got, we got these fatty, fatty parts here. I mean, oh, that's good. It's good. It's... I'm not in love with the flavor. I think it wants some other seasoning and it wants to be a part of an ensemble. But it is just cool and weird to have these big pieces of fish and you know they all came from one big fish. I'm gonna try to find a, a picture of one of these bream and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the screen now so we can look at what kind of a fish this is. It's definitely got its own flavor. Close to being like a freshwater fish to me. It's not muddy tasting. Out of all the Trader Joe's stuff we've tried, this is kind of the one that like, um, hey, go grab it and give it a shot. Just to see what I'm talking about here. You know, if nothing else. I'm not saying you're gonna love it. I'm not saying I'm loving it, but uh, it's its own thing and in a world of copycats and generic substitutions, doing your own thing is a strength in my book, I suppose. Yeah, not tasty. I don't know if that's just this fish, this cannery, or if that's just what the uh, durade is like. Quite weird. Yeah, give it a shot. I'm not doing it justice. You're seeing it that's a value to be able to see it and you can make some judgments with your own eyes, but you gotta get your mouth on this, okay? Next. Trader Joe's boneless, skinless mackerel in sunflower oil. It's boneless and skinless, so we're missing some of the fun stuff, but I don't know. It's mackerel, people like mackerel. I think mackerel's stock is rising. Let's see if this uh, contributes to that effect. These big pieces, big pieces. A lot of this Trader Joe's stuff, it's really sold as an ingredient. It, none of it jumps out to me as, oh my God, I just want to eat this stuff. You know, I just want to pound it. This is like, look, I gave you a big piece of fish. Like, that's cool. But, you know, I can buy fish too, right? Mm-hmm. This is really um, protein on demand. It tastes fine. It's got an okay texture. You chew it up, it chews. It's not mushy, it's fine. Is a little seasoning gonna help this? Yeah, I think a little seasoning would really help this. Because aside for some salt, mm, there's nothing going on. Let's see. Some of these pieces that fall by the wayside, they're the best, they're the best stuff. Sunflower oil. Don't know too much about sunflower oil, you know? What's this? Just a skinny little piece. I don't know, man. 
It's protein from the sea. That's all I got. Okay, guys. Yeah, so of these three, I think the Durade was probably my favorite, but they were just kind of weird. It wasn't like I loved them. The sardines and the mackerel were so whatever. They were just there. Maybe that's what Trader Joe's is going for, but I think Trader Joe's should be going for so much more, don't you think? Anyway, we'll see how the rest of these turn out in part three, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Look at this stack of fun stuff. Man, I just want to eat it up right now. And I would if I hadn't somehow gotten wrapped up into creating content out of one of my only true simple joys in life. Help me take the edge off that knife by subscribing to the channel. And if you're just joining the ranks of the fishy freaks, why not start at the beginning and see how we got into this mess? Bye.